Hey guys, it's your girl Shalanda back today with a third stimulus check update video. Happy Thursday, my darling. In today's video, we're going to talk about the status of this third stimulus check and when we could possibly get it. I'm also going to talk about some state stimulus. So guys, I need you just to keep checking the mail because different states are sending out different types of money. Okay, so we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about unemployment, some grants, as well as hazard pay. So if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of stimulus, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friends. Okay, it's Thursday, friend. My name is Shalane. and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you each and every single day and I enjoy doing it. Now guys, I am wearing my lipstick. You already know tomorrow is payday for some of y'all, so go ahead and pick up the ebook, pick up the planner, get you some lipstick, get you a t-shirt, follow me on Instagram, just do it all, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this stimulus check because according to Nancy Pelosi, the Democrats will not even vote on this or take the floor vote until next week. She said the Democrats and that right now they're communicating with the Senate to ensure that the bill complies with the budgetary rules as well. And we all know that they want to do it by mid-March. So as of right now, lawmakers on Capitol Hill are working on the new relief bill and expected it to be the $1,400 per person, $75,000 limit still, all still the same. But as of right now, they do want the legislation passed by mid-March which at the point that would help kind of free up the IRS because we know we're in full swing of tax season right now. But also the IRS said there may be one little hiccup, okay? And that one hiccup would be this $300 for the children. So according to the IRS, they said, hey, if this proposal with the child tax credit does get passed along in this bill, that may be an issue on how they're gonna send this $300 to families and that just presents a whole nother issue of problems. So the IRS said that's the only thing as of right now, the Democrats have proposed for the checks to be based on the 2019 or 2020 tax returns as well. Now, if the IRS does use your 2019 information and you qualify for more, say you had some kids in 2020, it's gonna be a little short, your check gonna be short, but if they use the 2020, once you filed, everything should be updated. So that's where we are right now with the stimulus. Hey, it's not a no, it's not that it's not coming, it's just, you know, it's delayed, not denied. So I'll take it, you know. I mean, what else do I have to do at this point? I'm waiting, and I know you're waiting as well. So let me know, what do you think down below? I don't know how they're gonna issue this $300. I think they're trying to figure that out if it's gonna be a direct deposit monthly. Somebody had proposed a prepaid debit card. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so if you are in California, they finally have the rules on this one-time payment of $600 to low-income Californians under the new relief deal. So remember, Governor Newsom has been talking about this, that he wanted to give individuals and farm workers and immigrants and everybody in their mama a check. It's called the Golden State Stimulus, okay? And under that, he would send $600 to Californians. Now, as of right now, the $600 payments are for households that are enrolled in several state programs as well. So if you are enrolled in CalWORKs, SSI, state supplementary payment, and the cash assistance program for immigrants, you will get it. So all my EBT recipients, you will get it as well. Now, residents with an annual income of $30,000 or less are eligible for the tax credit. Taxpayers like undocumented residents who were not eligible for any stimulus money, immigrants, and those who lack social security numbers, but you do have a identification tax identification number, excuse me, individual tax up, girl, I don't know why I say identification, it's that type of day, I'm already at the weekend, okay? But if you have an individual tax identification number and your income is below 75,000 and you were ineligible for any of the stimulus payments, then they are gonna give you $1,200 because you didn't get any money. I like it. So as of right now, they want to have the money out to households by mid-April, and that includes those who qualify for SSI and 65 or older, if you're blind or disabled, or if you're just out of work as well. So the timing of the payments is being worked out with the federal officials, but they want it to be by mid-April. So you could possibly 
have two checks. Like if we have the stimulus in March, then you get it in April if you're in California. But I mean, y'all needed the cost of living in California high. All right. Now the package does include five thousand to twenty-five thousand dollars for small businesses, nonprofits, cultural institutions, and then they want six hundred and fifty thousand for restaurants, barbering, and cosmetology individuals and businesses. Then they want to do also five hundred and twenty-five dollars stipends per enrolled children for like the child care assistance as well. Child, they're giving out money thirty-five million for the food banks and diapers for low income, and then they want to do. Um, money for students as well so it's going to be a lot in this golden state stimulus it's pretty golden all right i'm living my life like it's golden living in california like it's golden all right so moving along another 861,000 americans filed for unemployment last week so that is a surge rising above the 800,000 as the labor market recovery is still stalled so on here i have some videos guys i was in i was like very inspired today so I have a lot of videos that are gonna be on the way. So make sure you tune, tell a friend, share a video. Cause I got a lot of good stuff, especially for the kids. We're gonna just be trying out new stuff on the channel here, okay? It's gonna be all resources stuff to help you, but okay, moving along. So the Department of Labor released its weekly report. They do it every Thursday at 8.30 a.m. And here are the metrics from the report. So the initial job claims for the week ended February 13th. It was 773,000 versus now it's 861,000. Now, continuing claims on there like the PUA, the extended benefits, those increased as well. But what they're seeing is that some states are increasing. So in Illinois, they saw more than 33,000 new claims last week. California saw more than 21,000. And then other states had decreases like Texas, which had a drop of 12,400 new claims. And I'm sure the weather and everything is gonna be a little bit you know, difficult anyway for jobs and looking for jobs on there. So that's what we have going on. Now in hazard pay, Michigan said, don't forget, like between this week and next week, you should be getting a check. And they're gonna be sending out $500 hazard pay checks to teachers, $250 to school staff, and the check should be in the mail and you should have it by February 25th. So the hazard pay for teachers and staff that work through the pandemic will be sent by the end of February, according to the update by the Michigan Department of Treasury. It's gonna be called the MI Classroom Heroes Grant. They're gonna send these $500 payments. Shout out to Big Gretch. Okay, girl, I like you. There are eligibility requirements to be eligible. Staff must have worked at least 75% of the 2019-2020 school year before Big Gretch closed the schools down. So you should have the checks by February 25th. Don't forget, if you're in Maryland, the checks will come in the mail. They, they're supposed to go out tomorrow, Friday. So check in Maryland, and those could be anywhere from $300 to $500. Both Maryland and California have on their, they have a website dedicated that if you want to know if you're going to get a check or get some money, you can go and check the status or see if you're even eligible for a check. So don't actually that. Go check it out. Go to Google, honey. Okay. Say, Siri. You know, or hey, Google, you know, let them answer it, not Chalet. All right, so moving along. Are you a displaced restaurant or bar worker? Hmm, I want to know. United Way may have a program that can help you. So the United Way of Thurston County is actually administering funds to provide direct assistance to displaced restaurant and bar workers. So on there, you can receive cash assistance in the form of a prepaid credit card. They open applications on February 8th. To qualify, you must have lived in Thurston County and a bar restaurant employee. The applicant must have a 2020 pay stub, a W-2 or employer roster, or a letter from your employer showing proof that you have worked in the bar or restaurant in 2020. So you can contact the Community Action Council of Lewis, Mason, and Thurston Counties to administer the fund. And remember, you can go, you can call the council Monday through Thursday from eight to four at 360-438-1100 on there. So that's what they have, guys. It's some, so much money out here. It's so many different programs that's going on. You know, I'm trying to be the resource queen and let you guys know I'm gonna have some more videos coming out. I might do an EBT video today because I'm trying to update as soon as it come out. So I'll probably do that, but it's a lot of resources that are in the news. Texas, 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 you are still in my prayers. I'm watching. I think this is day four, 
now you guys are without power and you are some of the people are without water i've reached out to some of my texas classmates as well i'm looking i'm donating i'm trying to find out and as soon as i get something i guarantee you i got you so that's all i have in today's news let me know down in the comments below what do you think about the stimulus coming in march what do you think about these state stimuluses stimuluses whatever all right what do you think about them i sure wish it was alabama but it's not okay i mean you know only a girl can help but nonetheless as always please like comment subscribe get my ebook get my planner get the lipstick you're gonna see this shirt in another video so it is what it is and i will talk to you tomorrow happy thursday guys enjoy your thursday we one day closer to the weekend friend uh the weekend friend hey the weekend friend all right bye y'all